what is good you guys welcome back to my channel so i'm so excited for this video you guys already know it's going to be another alphalete haul and this video is going to be all about the new amplify contour my favorite and we also have some really really sick pump covers drop in so in this video we're going to cover the material the colors color comparisons the fit everything you need to know about the new contour and i just want to put in there i absolutely is this blurry i absolutely love the contour leggings they are my absolute favorite so we have nine pump covers drop in i'm so excited for this because i love a pump cover and I love a graphic, you guys already know, I love a graphic t-shirt, hoodie, anything, I'm all for it. So nine new pump covers drop in and then we have two new styles of Amplify bra and we have contour shorts, contour leggings. So both the shorts and leggings will be available in six colours and the Amplify XL bra will be available in eight colors and the Deep V bra will be available in six colors. New Amplify Contour Collection is dropping Saturday the 16th of December. That will be at 12 p.m. CST or 6 p.m. GMT. Obviously, as always, you guys, code GEO will get you 10% off your entire order. And as always, if you guys choose to support me, I really, really appreciate it. I want to be able to do that heart thing, you know, when people like do this, but oh my god, have I done it? Love you guys. Oh my god, did you hear that? I just clicked my nails, that was my knuckles, that was horrible. Um, yeah, so let's get straight into it with the leggings. I have got all the colours to show you. First, I will show you like the contour details on the leggings. Actually, let me pick a lighter colour so you can actually see against the camera. Um, exactly the same as the last contour leggings but if you haven't had the contour leggings before I will show you and I do have another video on my channel um, showing the other colours of the contour leggings they're like a really lovely neutral palette so this is the panel that runs down the side so it's like a woven it's not holes So that's against the skin. So there's no holes in it or anything. It's just like a woven woven material. Um, and then you have this contouring panel that goes almost down below the glute. And the woven part is down along the calf to the bottom of the legging. So in the leggings, I got a size small and the shorts I got a medium but I probably should have got small in the contour. These are the same material as the last drop so that they're that thinner like I think the contour to me feel a little bit thicker than the last drop that we have for Black Friday um, but they are that really really soft stretchy fabric so I haven't tried them on yet but so we'll see if they do fit true to size but they are a really really soft stretchy and then you do have a three tier waistband so the waistband is obviously not as stretchy as the legs um, and then you have the iconic amplify scrunch and then doesn't quite touch the gusset. The bra that I got to match with that colour is, this is, this colour is called Times Square by the way, and the bra that I chose to pair with the leggings is the new Amplify XL bra. This does remind me a lot of the Revival bra um, with the crisscross at the back. These bras do come with pads in. So you have the cups in there, and the logo on the XL bra, this is like stuck on, this is not woven in. So I've seen mixed reviews on the, oh yeah, that is quite, that's not given like mega stretch, it's stretchy enough, but that's not like really stretchy. 
um, which is good. I sized down in both the bras to an extra small um, because I wasn't sure. Sometimes the like amplified bras I find are like really, really um, stretchy. So I did get an extra small in this. And as you can see, it does have an element of stretch. So hopefully that should fit perfectly. So this is my first time trying any of the new Amplify colours on. I have to say, get ready for this. So this is the Times Square colour. Sorry, the lighting might not be the best. Um, so yeah, new Times Square colour with the XL bra. Small, extra small. And then you can see how the contouring accentuates the glutes. And then you have the waffle panel here at the side. And then obviously the scrunch bum. So the bra is like a V cut. And then you have got the straps that cross over here into the back. And it fits like so. So this definitely does remind me of the Revival bra, but it's just been like amped up a bit. This is nicer than the Revival bra. I'll do all the colour comparisons at the end of the video so I can take my camera off the ring light and don't have to keep faffing around putting it back on. So all the colour comparisons will be at the end. So she's looking pretty squat proof to me. I just did like a video like so I can make some real content on my phone as well and obviously my ring lights on full blast because we're in the middle of winter here and there's literally no natural daylight and she looks okay so let's see what the camera picks up I think she's good. Yeah, I'll give her a nine out of 10. Also, this bra is really, really comfy. I really didn't think I'd be like that keen on it because I am a minimal bra girly, but it fits really nice. And so far, so good, it feels really comfy. So in my opinion, Times Square definitely fits true to size. I know the stretchiness of color will always vary because of the dyeing process. So some colors will always fit different. Darker colours will generally always be tighter because of the process to get them dyed darker. I don't understand the ins and outs of it but I just know that lighter colours don't go through such a process. So darker colours like black, um, like this central park that I'm just putting on now, they will most likely fit tighter because of the way they're dyed. So next I have got on the deep V bra in the color black and I'm wearing the leggings in the color Central Park. I will say that I can definitely feel a slight difference in the way that the darker colors fit to the light. Obviously that's to be expected, I'm aware of that, but I wouldn't turn around and be like, oh, you need to size up because of it. They're still true to size in my opinion. So here are the Central Park leggings. These are probably my least favorite color. I just, I don't really slay the dark colors. I prefer light colors, personally. So as you can see, these are a deep, dark green. They are the most similar to Darkest Pine, but these are actually darker than Darkest Pine. Like, these are really dark. Hopefully the camera's picking up. Oh, there we are. So that is how dark they are. Again, color comparisons will be at the end. And so here is how the deep V bra fits. This is a size extra small. So it is deep V. Oh my God, it makes me look like I've got boobs. <laughs> so obviously it is a deep V. Um, I've actually seen the girlies that have bigger boobs say they actually do really like this bra. I think it would be cuter if it didn't have all this extra like fabric up here, like and just went kind of like thinner. But then I don't know. Maybe like that? 
so it's like a triangle cup rather than all this um but who am i to talk i'm not a designer and then the back is exactly the same as the revival bra but this is thinner than the revival bra so you have the crisscross at the back you can still show off the back gains and this definitely like i know obviously like the your boobs might be out a little bit but there's definitely it's like definitely a bit more support because the straps are like tougher like they're good they're not adjustable they are not adjustable so i would recommend getting your true size in this one or if you have got if you're flat chested i would size down but if you do have boobs to put in it get your normal size so now let's check the squat proofness of the central park color just want to make sure this is focused on me Okay, these should honestly be squat proof because they're so dark. So let's have a look. Like in natural light, like <laughs> in natural light, I've got a mirror that way. <laughs> and like, obviously the ring light's facing this way. So this is like 100% natural light in they are good they are fine you literally they look they almost look black to me like they're so dark so dark but yeah i think these colors are definitely pretty good the only thing is because they are the thinner material they might like if you're shining like direct ring light on them they might have like the element of sheerness because they're thin but they're not see-through so next I will put on the new skyscraper colour which is like a dark medium grey and the black uh, deep V bra that I just showed you, I will show you on this one. The logo is actually stitched into this one. <laughs> Whereas on the XL bra it is stuck on. So this one is sewn in and the XL is the XL is stuck on so here is the deep V bra in the color skyscraper paired with the amplify contour leggings in the color skyscraper so again as you can see they are like a dark medium toned gray I feel like these are the most similar to like titanium and smoke. So the bra is an extra small, I've probably already said this a hundred times, all of the bras are extra small, leggings are small and I got the shorts in a medium. So are they squat proof? Yeah I think they're squat proof but again because of yeah, they're definitely squat proof, but because of the bright light from my ring light, there's just that element of sheerness, um, like reflected, the light reflected off the leggings. But yeah, I really, really love this colour. The back of the bras are definitely not my favourite thing, because I don't love the like crossover. If this was a halter neck, I could work with this. Maybe I'll cut it. You know, I might just do that. But yeah, so this is how it looks. I've got like tiny, tiny little teats. And then the back. Next up, we are going to try on the Manhattan color. So I would say this is most comparable to Rich Brown. So if you guys missed out on Rich Brown because it sold like hotcakes, I would definitely, definitely grab Manhattan because this one is a really, really nice like medium warm brown so i got the shorts in this color and the deep v bra again here are the shorts and the deep v bra and so these shorts the contour shorts do have a five inch inseam as opposed to a 4.5 inch inseam so this is how long they are without me pulling them up so i personally pull them up because I think, like, put them under the butt. 
and then they lift the butt. So I would wear them about here. Like so. I do think a medium fits me well at the moment because I'm obviously not the thinnest I've ever been. So a medium's good. And the waist is still pretty compressive on the medium. I honestly don't think there's a lot in it. Like if you're kind of like me and like in between that, like small, medium, or you have like bigger legs, like I do, I would like the medium shorts are just more comfortable for me around the legs. And I do have a 27 inch waist and my glutes are about 43. Um, I will put specifics in the description as always. Let me show you the contouring on the shorts because if you haven't had the shorts before, they're slightly different to the leggings. So they don't have that weave pattern on them. They still have like that bit of contouring there that goes around the glutes but then they have this like solid waffle pattern on them so it's not like a proper waffle knit but it is just like a different kind of contouring design this color is the grand central i feel like this is the best color for me that i have in the shorts for me to be able to show you this so yeah, the contouring on the shorts is just slightly different to the leggings, but still accentuates the glutes. I honestly prefer the contour range so much more than the standard amplify now. I am a contour girly through and through. Yeah, these are definitely safe. So I give these like a 10 out of 10. I have just put on the new burgundy shorts so I don't have a bra to pair with this colour because I thought this one was my least favourite. I've kept the Manhattan bra on so you can kind of see the difference in the colours. I don't know, this is like obviously burgundy and then the bra is like brown. I think so. I think this is another safe colour. So if you are a red girly, you'll definitely like these. These are like a deep burgundy. I'm personally not really a red girly, so they're not my favourite. But yeah, this is how the medium shorts fit on I me. Mean, I should have got a small as well for comparison, but... Uh... My other contour shorts are a small and they fit me really well. Um, so I think just because I'm in that, like my bottom half is in that weird like in-between size. So I think really I can get away with either. Um, either's fine, but I am currently in a fat loss phase. So I probably should have got a small, but never mind. Last Amplify colour I have to show you is this Grand Central. This is pretty similar to the Linen Chai Hazelnut and I have paired it with the XL bra. So as you can see, in comparison to the Deep V bra, this one does have more coverage of the Yiddies. And again, in the back, it's slightly different design with the crossover straps. I do actually think, even though it doesn't have as much um, like coverage, I feel like the other one has more support, but I don't know I don't know. I, they're both probably like medium impact bras. But I'm not the biggest, this one I'm not the biggest fan of because it's like too much for me. I do prefer more minimal, like, I like the bandos. I like the minimal bras, the strappy bras. They're my favorite. These are the shorts. So again, these shorts are a size medium. And if I don't roll them down, roll them up even, they're like kind of long, you know? Like this is how they look not rolled, but I just, I don't know. I just prefer them to like not sit like this. 
I just prefer them to be like bunched, grab the back, put it up the crack. <laughs> and then, yeah, that's how I like to wear mine. Squad proof. I would probably say, obviously, because these are the lightest ones, they'll be like the least squat proof. But I do have like the nude, the seamless nude athlete thumb on currently, and I think we're safe. So, yeah, normally I would be like to actually work out, I would always be commando, but um, for the hauls, I will normally have some sort of undergarment on. But yeah, so if you do prefer to work out in like underwear then definitely pick up some of the nude seamless thongs they are the best they're super super comfy that basically summarizes all the amplifiers so we can go into the pump covers now i did pick up oh they're all folded in each other one two three four five pump covers so i love every single one of them obsessed there are nine in total but they're not necessarily different, they might be like a different palette. Some of them have different um, colours. We have got the Heritage Tea in Vintage Black. Is it? Yeah. In Vintage Black. So we have the small Alpha Loot logo at the front, very, very minimal. And then the back has every single Alpha Loot logo ever. And it even has Alpha Loot Gym on there. So this is super, super cool. This is definitely one of my favorites because you already know, graphic girly. And I do always get all my cotton t-shirts in a size large. I probably would have preferred an extra large, to be honest. Like I got one um, at Alphaland. One of my Alphaland tops is an extra large and it's massive, but I do actually really like the way it fits. So this is how the large fits on me. These are unisex. I am about five foot four. So it just covers my bum. I just, I do love a pump cover. I'm so excited for these. And this heritage tee will also be coming in white. So it'll be exactly the same, but the t-shirt will be white and the designs will be black. So this one is the smoke tee in the color dolphin blue. And the reason for that is that the graphics on the t-shirt are in the dolphin blue colour, hopefully. So you can see the wolf head there with like the smoke effect. And then you have the alpha leak cross the top of the back, which I like because you can still tuck the t-shirt in and still see the alpha leak because I love alpha leak. <laughs> so yeah, this one's pretty cool. And this one also comes in black with like white smoke. So this is like a vintage black, like a washed out black with the blue smoke and graphic. Next t-shirt is the Crest tee and this is in the color cement. So you can see this is the little logo at the front, pretty cool. And then on the back, it is a big logo, the same as the front. So obviously these tops are perfect for pairing with the new Amplify or whatever old Amplify you already own. Very cool. I feel like this one makes me feel like a skateboarder. Pew. As well as the cement colour, this one does also come in black and the logo is like a beige and white colour rather than like black and orange. Let me show you if you can see it. So that's the black version of this one. This is the Houston Texas tea in the colour gold. So the Houston Texas tea is one of my all time favourites. We previously launched this in white and black and it went so fast. So I have no doubt this yellow one will do the same. So it's gold and then 
purple, red, and then you have the little Alfie at the front in black. And then here's the back. And you also have the claw mark on the side, which I absolutely love. So you've got like the learn, dream, be, more at the back. Obsessed with this one. So the last pump cover I have to show you is the Ghost Tea. This one also comes in dark green and the actual color is called um, Ivy. So this comes in a dark green also. So this is the front and then you have the back like so. So this one's a little bit more minimal. Um, so for those of you that don't love the like in your face design this one's a bit more toned down i honestly feel like i don't know because sometimes i tuck them in but sometimes when you want to wear them like a dress it's nice to have an extra large so i might honestly start getting some in an extra large so that's the back that's like halfway up my back and then the front like so Honestly, I love all these pump covers. Like if I had enough room in like my pick in to get every single one, I would have, but obviously I wanted the new Amplify. So yeah, love these pump covers. Definitely recommend going up a size or two, depending on how you like your fit. So I always, always go for a large in the cotton ones. Um, sometimes when they're different material, like more the stretchier material, I will do a medium. Um, but generally in the cotton, I would like a larger and extra large. So now we will get on to the color comparisons. So you guys, the first, woo, the first color comparison we will do is Grand Central. So here is the new Grand Central contour. This is linen. So these two colors are the closest. And here we have the hazelnut. This is the Aura Sand. This is the Amplify Contour Sand. And here is Chai. So I would say the top three, well, maybe these actually. So Hazelnut, Grand Central, and then Linen. But again, I think these two, Linen and Grand Central, are definitely the closest for comparisons. So here they are in a lineup again. These are definitely the three closest and Grand Central is just slightly darker than Linen, like ever so slightly. They're really, really, really similar, but I know a lot of people missed out on the Linen. So if you missed out on it the first time, Grand Central is your chance to pick up something similar. So here you guys, I have laid out the new Manhattan, rich brown, butterscotch, chocolate, cashmere from the amplify contour last time and here we have the og mocha so as you can see rich brown and um manhattan are very very similar very similar so if you missed out on rich brown last time i would 100 percent grab the manhattan this time these browns always do sell really really quickly um they're always very very popular but as you can see it's just got a little bit more of a subtle ready it's not red at all but like this one's like a pure medium brown and this one just has like a hint of like red ash in it so there you are hopefully that's a good comparison for you guys so here we have the new times square this is butterscotch rich brown formula red this is strawberry from the ombre collection and then down here we have bordeaux copper and this is the new burgundy I had to think then so as you can see these are quite different nothing's really that similar to this one i would say the closest is certainly the strawberry ombre bra those are certainly the closest formula red is a lot brighter than the times square and then with the new burgundy let me put this one in the middle these three are 
kind of similar. I think this one and copper are pretty similar, but copper's got like a lot more like black thread running through it. And the new burgundy does not. And then this is Bordeaux, which is obviously a really, really old color. So if you are a deep red girly and you don't have either of these, I would definitely, definitely go with the new burgundy. Okay, you guys, so here is a comparison of the new Central Park, which is this one. It is a very, very deep, dark green. So this is the last launch, which is Sage, Willow. This is Oak. This is from... Oh, I forgot the collection, what the collection's called. Um, come back to that. This one is Darkest Pine. This is Dark Waters. This is Teal and this is Canteen. Oh, what collection is this from? Do you guys remember? The Alpha Lux. But I can't remember the colour of the green that that is. But they're kind of close. Um, so yeah, Dark Waters, Teal, Canteen, Darkest Pine... So they are all quite different. Like this is so dark, you guys. Really, really dark. I honestly don't believe we've had a green that is this dark because like darkest pine, which is this one, was pretty dark at the time. But like in comparison, you can just see how dark that one is. So if you are a girly who loves the dark colours, you will certainly love this new Central Park colour. Okay, now for the last one. So this is the new skyscraper. This is smoke. This is the OG titanium. So as you can see, these three are really, really similar. This one is medium grey, storm grey, utility grey, and then this is thundercloud. And then this is pewter from the Aura collection. So this one is most similar to the smoke and titanium in my opinion so if you have either of those colors you probably don't need this one but it is like a really really clean gray which i love like a dark clean gray there's no marl in it which is even nicer because this one smoke and titanium are both a marl and this one is not so if you prefer that i definitely definitely go for it um but yes, that is all of them. So that pretty much concludes the whole haul for this video. I hope you guys found it helpful as always. If you have any additional questions, drop them below or DM me on Instagram. My Instagram is geoaksfitness. Don't forget code geo will save you 10% off the entire Alphalete website. If you do choose to support me, thank you so much. I honestly appreciate it more than you could ever imagine. And yeah, let me know any questions you might have. If you want any additional colour um, comparisons, can't think of the word. I haven't eaten yet and it's like 2pm and I am starving and my brain's not working anymore. So yeah, let me know any additional questions. Send them my way. Anything you might need, any size guides, etc, etc. In my opinion, all the colours are true to size. The darker colours do fit tighter but i would go with your normal size across the board for this launch um i generally do think it's pretty true to size um tighter colors are always going to be a little bit more compressive but i wouldn't say it's anything that you need to size up for so there's that and yeah if you're unsure about your size then drop me a message with your measurements and stuff and i will get back to you and let you know what i think but yeah if you've made it to the end thanks for watching as always and see you at the next one.